I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and you are watching the videos related to writing of SOP, SOR for various departments in IITs and uh, many universities including foreign universities. You know SOP, SOR is uh, more or less the same document for India. It is a one page document in which you mention about why you want to pursue particular course like this course is for PhD in control and automation, a student from electrical and electronics engineering background is writing this SOP or research proposal SOR which is called and he is writing it for IIT Kanpur PhD this department. Now you need to write in your research proposal what you want to do and SOP means why you want to do. So if you are BTEC graduate why you want to do PhD, why you want to do direct PhD, why PhD in controls and automation department only, what you want to do after that. And if you join this controls and automation, which uh, research area would you like to pursue? So your typical SOP should carry that. It is one page document, very meticulously it is to be written because this document goes to the professor in the interview and on the basis of that interview goes. So your entire interview depends upon this document. So prepare it well. You can always seek the help of mentors of your PDA in writing the good research proposal, guiding you for that and preparing you through interview for these research proposals. Now, so first, uh, uh, you know, paragraph starts that uh, why at the first place you thought of becoming electrical and electronic engineering. I took electrical and electronic engineering for these reasons. So why you decided to go into this branch? That is the first part. So you learned new things into that. So pella paragraph aapke baare mein rahega, it will be about you, why you became electrical and electronic engineer. Then you talk about your BTEC, what subjects you studied, control system, power electronics, digital circuits and you started enjoying these subjects and then you decided okay I would like to go more in detail about these subjects. So you did your training, so industrial training, projects, everything you can mention. So after the graduation you got placed in particular company and then there you worked as network engineer. It was a very good experience for you, you completed certain courses there. And now you decided to pursue higher education to further satisfy your urge for knowledge in domain of your interest. So why you want to do PhD now? You have done job also now why you want to do PhD that is SOP. So you want to become proficient in adopting, directing, executing some projects which will be given to you. So uh, basically you want to get specialized in particular domain so that in future you can become consultant or you handle the projects in future. So uh, you want to pursue advanced courses from IIT Kanpur and uh, increase your knowledge and PhD as a course will help you in that. IIT as an institute is institute of excellence. So why PhD? Why IIT? This paragraph is all about that. You can stop the video and see how it is to be written. So now you come to your research interest, control and automation and IIT Kanpur, why IIT Kanpur? So data engineering and automation lab. So intelligent data engineering and automation lab, IDEA lab and network control system lab. These two labs are something which are attracting you. So you are writing SOP for PhD in IIT Kanpur. You are mentioning what the labs and why you want to join to IIT Kanpur. Why not IIT Delhi? So you are mentioning about the labs. That these labs are very good and they are providing the very good facilities. And on control system fronts, research interest of the group includes this. So you are talking about that what work is going on in that department. So this all you have taken from the IIT Kanpur side that this work is already going on there. Now educational and learning you belong, believe is a lifelong process. So even if you have done job, you realize that now you should go for higher education because uh, learning should keep on going throughout your career, throughout your life. That is from where you got this idea. And that is the reason you want to get into IIT Kanpur and this will be a great opportunity if you do PhD from IIT Kanpur. That is how you will sum it up. So I hope you understood how SOP should flow. First about you, then your project, then why you want to join particular IIT and what you want to do after that. It should flow in that particular direction. So keep watching all the SOPs which are being provided to you on this channel of your PDA education so that you are in good position to write good SOPs. Thank you.